say a very good doctor, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I convey my whole hearted pronoun and say, on honorary speaker of Lok Sabha, Sri Om Birla, honorable members of parliament and members of rights for giving me this opportunity. They express my views before this esteemed gathering. It gives me immense pressure and I feel I am privileged to speak before you on this occasion. I sincerely thank the government of India for honoring me with the prestigious Vatmasri Award. This is not only a recognition limited to a Carnatic music Vidwan, but also a recognition of a woman, Mudanga artist. Coming to, coming to the promoting women in fine arts. Fine arts are a creative expression in the form of music, painting, poetry, etc. As I am in the field of music, I will explain I will explain about the importance of music. There is a saying of the great Swami Vivekananda stating that music is the highest art and to those who understand this is this highest worship. Music is a universal language. The whole universe run in drum and we can find music everywhere. Every culture has its <coughs> unique nature of music. India too has had a long history of music philosophy and practice. In India we have classical music, both Carnatic and Hindustani. In Uchi, which we have vocal and instrumental music. Murangam come, comes into the category of instrument, instrumental music. It is an Indian Talavadja instrument. It is the most promising percussion instrument which pro provides rhythm in Carnatic classical music concerts. It is considered the king of percussion instrument. We have mythological paintings displaying Lord Nandi and Lord Ganesha playing Murangam during Lord Siva Tandava dance. Hence, Murangam is popularly known as Nandikeswara Vajya and Deva Vajya. My musical journey in Murangam started at the age of six in 1956. When I had no idea about the gender difference, my first guru was my father, Sri Nidumur Dabhavanya. A mudangam gatam kanjara bhutvam. At that time, he faced two, two problems. First problem was, I was a girl because the 1950s was a time when there were many barriers for women, but it did not. He did not hesitate to encourage me, his daughter to learn mother. Ma'am, we are so proud of you and we want to listen to your yes, this story. And you are a very brave woman.
at that time he faced two, two problems. First problem was I was a girl because the 1950s was a time when there were many barriers for women. But he did not hesitate to, hesitate to encourage me, his daughter, to learn Mudang. Second pro problem was playing Mudang. Uh, includes a difficult physical activity and needs a lot of strength along with technique. These two problems were overlooked and he gave me his full support to follow his footsteps. I used to get bubbles on my fingers after two to three hours practice, but I did not give up. Later, I joined to a student in the government medical dance college, Vijayawada, to learn Murdangam and Bhartanakya. My Murdangam as Guru, Sri M. Radha Krishna Raj Guru, and my Bhartanakya Guru was Sri Vedanta Prahla Sarma Guru. I completed these two courses in the honors division. I gave my first stage performance at the stage of the age of 10. At the time, the audience were surprised after watching a girl playing Mutang. <laughs> Later, I was lucky enough to learn intricate technique of Murdangu from Vidwan, Murdanga Chakravarti, Sri Dandamodi Ramamohan Ragaru, a legendary artist of Putukkotai traditional of Murdanga play. <coughs> he never showed any difference while teaching Murdanga. I was not his head because I was a woman. He made me practice till I achieved perfection. His confidence in him helped me and encouraged me to think as an artist, not as a woman. Thanks to his excellent training, today I stand before you as a Murdangam Vidushri Mani. Dr. Yamala Barmurai Krishna, 
శ్రీ ఎంఎస్ బాలసుబ్రహ్మణ్య శర్మ శ్రీ బోలేటి వెంకటేశ్వరులు శ్రీ టిఆర్ సుబ్రహ్మణ్యం శ్రీమతి డి బృంద అండ్ ముక్త శ్రీమతి మణికృష్ణ స్వామి కుమారి శ్రీరంగం గోపాలరత్నం ఎం శ్రీ ఎం చంద్ర చంద్రశేఖరన్ సిక్ సిస్టర్ శ్రీ సి చిట్టిబాబు శ్రీ మ్యాండిలన్ యూ శ్రీనివాస్ ఎక్సెట్రా అండ్ జగులుబంది కాన్సర్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ డాక్టర్ ఎం బాలమురళి కృష్ణ విత్ పండిట్ భీమసేన్ జోషి అండ్ శ్రీమతి కిషోరి అమౌంట్ ఐ గేవ్ మెనీ సోలో లైవ్ విన్యాసం ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ ఏ రౌండ్ ది కంట్రీ అండ్ we came the first eight of great lady murdangist and also first female murdanga live in yasam artist of india along with my guru i have given many programs and it gave me immense <coughs> pleasure to share this stage with him and we became the only top graded murdanga duo of our country i also worked as a lecturer in bharatanatyam and also worked as principal of the music and dance college vijayawada which i joined as a student in the year 2000 i started a sabha dayavedika to promote 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 percussion instruments and had had been conducting competitions and programs every year in the year 2015 i organized a program with a group of 100 mudanga artists i would like to point out this esteemed gathering that the status of women in the society has changed but not to the level it actually should we all agree that of the top half of our population are women but just repeating words is not enough we need action traditionally in my childhood there were many areas notable as may hostel women were not allowed to learn and participate but in the present world we have seen women slowly taking up the challenge and breaking this myth we have women pilots women the army women climbing everest and many more it is not here and it is a task i can easily imagine how many hurdles they have crossed to reach that stage how many challenges they might have faced become successful we have faced such kind of insults in the field of music for many years women in instrumental artists were not allowed to accompany senior artists especially female artists singers some male artists thought that it was an insult later with last of effort many women artists come forward and became became main performers and accompanied male artists it took a lot of talent and support from the family and society to reach the stage to excel in the completely male dominate field like mudanga it took a lot of physical stamina and to this one must be very good in mathematical calculations it is not enough to be to be good one should have the presence of mind and be well be well versed in talas as an artist i had to face many challenges primarily carrying a heavy i made 15 to 16 kg weighted mudang by traveling was a difficult task some artist will table label as as a woman and doubt our ability while performing on the stage some main artists will try to embarrass us by giving chance for mudanga in critical thalas to test our talent 
as they want to prove they were superior. It will become a challenge and I try to face them readily. Currently, as I am in the 62nd year of my musical journey, I can, I can say that I am a Muranga artist who stood the test of time. I can also look at any student with pride when they take me as an inspiration to choose a difficult path and try to achieve. I am not just satisfied with one or two. I want many more to come forward. I want to explain two main points related to fine arts. Firstly, to excel in any art, we should consider our self as a student for our entire life. <coughs> Second point is with practice. Daily practice will increase perfection and we become more confident. In India, we have varied forms and fine arts. We must take care of this rich heritage. I re request the government of India to encourage the youth of this country to learn any art in which they have interest. As we all are living in, in a stressful world, learning and developing interest in fine arts will relieve mental pressure and also we will have good physical health with a more concentrated mind. From my observation, the government of India under, under the skillful leadership of our honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji is doing everything meant for the encouragement of women in all fields. To promote women in fine arts, I request the government of India to consider the following points. First point, establishing a council, a council of reputed female artists from various fields of fine arts. Second point, organizing fine arts classes in the Gurukul system for poor students. At present, we have some <coughs> colleges offering courses in fine arts. I also put a lot of effort in training students as a lecturer in music college. But that is when I realized that we must have Gurukul schools for fine arts. To train the talented students who want to learn. Third point, conducting workshops and seminars to raise awareness. Even now, girls are not encouraged to continue their learning. <coughs> Studies, marriage, jobs should not become hurdles for women. Learning any fine art should be considered as an additional qualification. Hence, to increase girls' freedom, there is a need to conduct awareness sessions. Fourth point, providing financial assistance in the form of subsidy for purchase of finance related things such as instruments. Fifth point, conducting competitions and giving scholarships to students. I used to walk 12 to 14 miles every day, sometimes with one meal to learn from my guru. I do not want that to happen for our future generations. Giving, my, giving scholarship to the talented students will reduce the financial burden. Sixth point, organizing culture programs to promote India's rich heritage. India has a lot of talent. The government should provide 
a platform to shake, showcase their talent. Globally, there is a huge respect for our Indian tradition and customs. India is a home for various forms of fine arts. These fine arts expand our hardians and increase our global audience. I humbly pray to give a serious thought to these points. I conclude with this and I once again express my gratitude and thanks for giving me this for wonderful opportunity. Pranam Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.